Welcome back to another evolution video. My name is Fiber, and today we're going through the evolution of Roblox. Before we get into the video, let me know down in the comments if you've ever played this game and your overall thoughts on it. If you didn't know, which I'm sure you did, Roblox is an online game platform and game creation system developed by Roblox Corporation. It allows users to program games and play games created by other users. Created by David Basuki and Eric Castle in 2004 and released in 2006. I'm sure everyone watching this knows what Roblox is. We either played it ourselves or have a little sibling or cousin that plays it on their iPad all the time. Now to look at the general evolution of Roblox, we need to look at before the game was even in development. Interactive physics. This was a simulation that was designed as an educational supplement that would allow the creation of 2D physics experiments. One thing to know is that interactive physics was created all the way back in 1989 by Knowledge Revolution which was founded by David Bazuki, the same man behind Roblox. The software that he created all the way back then would then influence Roblox to the game that it is now today. David was the president of the company Knowledge Revolution until he was joined by Eric Castle and Keith Lucas in around 1998. Only a year after they had joined, Knowledge Revolution had gotten a deal of their lifetime and was acquired for $20 million in January 1999 by MSC Software. I guess David and Eric didn't enjoy their jobs as much as they used to and had left the company to start on a new project in 2003. And hence, the development of Roblox started in late 2003. Oh, sorry, not Roblox, Dynablox. At this point, the devs were just testing out the physics of the game to see what they could create. I mean you can clearly tell that this used to be Roblox. The overall game looks the same as it does today but of course there are some huge differences. I mean look at the old character. Although the game doesn't really improve graphics wise, at the time I'm sure this looked pretty realistic. I guess. I don't know. Here's a mock up of what the website for Dynablox was meant to look like. You can see two images of what was supposedly the very first games to be made and played in Roblox. Both of them being created in December 2003. The first one called John's Puzzle Game. The goal was to create a bridge that can't break. Yeah. And the second one was a model design contest and shows an image of a dump truck. <sighs> a few months ago in 2004, David Bazuki and Eric Castle decided to change the name from Dynablox to Roblox, meaning Roblox had been officially founded in March 2004. Here's the logo for the new company completely original and does not look like anything else I've ever seen before. Jumping over a few weeks, the first ever Roblox account is created called Admin. This was used to test various different ideas and concepts that the devs would put in the game. Oh, and remember the logo I was talking about a few seconds ago? Yeah, that isn't a problem anymore. 2005, we're now in the alpha stage and actually have been for a few months. Half a million dollars was raised in order to fund the game's development. With this boost, the devs improved on the game a lot and in February of 2005, alpha testing officially goes into beta testing. A month later in March, Roblox Corporation created a patent for the online building toy or better known as Roblox Studio. This was an extremely early insight of what Roblox Studio used to look like. A few mini games were made in Roblox such as King Arthur's Castle, Steer the Spheres and Beat the Lions. Steer the Spheres being the most popular, being the first mini game to hit 100 plus plays. After playing these mini games, you would earn Roblox points. I think these were created in order for beta testers to have more of an incentive to play and earn more of these points. May 21st, 2005 and Roblox changes the logo again. After more development on the game, Sign up reopens to more users who want to test it out. The devs can get more advice and see what the community thinks about it. Although it wasn't that big, we all start somewhere. 2006. Tired of the basic design of the players, the devs decided to spice things up and actually add features to the characters. Pretty detailed if you ask me. I mean, it doesn't stop there. Mike Rayhawk changed the whole shape of the character, creating a buff Lego man. Considering he worked for Lego for some time prior to this, I'm not really surprised. March 23rd, the Roblox beta has now ended and is available to everyone. But it isn't officially released, even though everyone can play it. I don't understand this. A month later in April, Freecam was no longer in game, being replaced with a third person perspective of your character, making it easier for people to focus on, well, their character. Two months after this, an early multiplayer version is released. You can now play with all your friends, but it's only on Roblox official games. One of the most physical intensive movements was added into the game. 
jumping. No, but for real though, it was cool to see your character have more movement around and get to places they couldn't before. With this, they also added... Wait, am I reading? Bombing. They added bombs to the game. I mean, there was a lot of things they could have added early on. Kinda weird they made bombing a priority though. I take offense. John Shedowski made the very first Roblox video titled Time Bomb, a short story. That was interesting. <coughs> Sorry, what I meant to say was that was interesting. <coughs> September 1st, 2006, Roblox is officially released. With the release, the logo was changed again to a more kid friendly looking logo, I guess. This was the only logo I actually remember of Roblox 7. At the end of September, you can now go into multiplayer in all games, with the addition of adding friends and being able to DM them privately. You naughty naughty. The first official event in Roblox occurs in December 2006. They called it Santa's Winter Stronghold. The elves are, instead of making presents, stealing them. It's Santa's job in order to stop this from happening. You can play as either character. January 9th, 2007. Animations are now implemented into the game. Instead of gliding around everywhere, you actually look like you're running. Kinda. January 17th, the first official contest called Homestead Furniture Making Contest starts. What you do in this is well that you make furniture. Little did we know that this was for a brand new home in Roblox. The winners having their furniture being within the new home. We got a TV screen, a bunk bed, a dining table, a stereo system, a home entertainment system which is basically another TV and another bed, but king size. Oh, and there's this arcade machine. Jump a few months later, Roblox is growing a lot surprisingly, but the demographic for the game is slowly shifting to the younger years. Hence, a super safe chat button is added. April 1st, 2007, Google buys out Roblox for $380 million. The site was changed to gooblox.com. Psych! <laughs> April Fools! Yeah. May 3rd, 2007, deciding to add more detail than a simple smiley face, the devs added hair. Or whatever this is. Obviously, this looked like a joke. But don't worry, Mike Rayholt comes to the rescue with Fused Girl. The fuck? Robux is also added, being the replacement for the Roblox points. Hair obviously wasn't working out right now, so they came up with a new solution hats, giving all characters the same stylish look. Jumping over to August, a grand melee contest took place. There was a total of 3 rounds and players were ranked based on their KD ratio. The winners would win Robux, a crown, a hat and tickets, which is a new form of currency added that same month. Now we're reaching the end of the year, where most holidays and holiday events happen. In September, the spooky building contest begins. The goal was to create a scary Halloween themed house. The winter... Oh, the winter? The winner would win Builders Club for 6 months, which was basically Roblox Premium. November, the first ever Roblox merch is released. Man, I can't wait to wear this in school. And December, several Winter Wonderland parades happened across the month, as well as Christmas gifts being given away for completing simple tasks and challenges. In 2008, not a lot happened in Roblox compared to 2006 and 2007, although the player base was increasing a lot more within this year. The main things to point out were the contests that were happening. In fact, Roblox hosted the very first Easter event in 2008, the Egg Extravaganza. 11 different eggs were dropped from the sky during this time period in all of the current game modes in Roblox, each egg having a different thing you can do with it, some you can wear and others you can solve puzzles. Decals, favourites, shirts and pants were added the next month. Oh and team chat soon after. There was a Roblox Olympic building contest, of course inspired by the Beijing 2008 Olympics. Whoa, you can now play Roblox without actually having an account. Back to the spooky season with a new event, Yorix Resting Palace. You'll have to run through the palace in order to locate the Riddling Skull. Don't like your head shape? Well, too bad, now you're presented with a bunch of worse head shit. A very popular game created in late September 2007 called Mike's Ultimate Paintball was the very first game mode to reach 1 million place visits in Roblox. At the start of 2009, Roblox started to release more faces, giving players more ways to customise the head of their characters without changing the shape like before. Talking about the shape, they stopped producing different heads as they started to get a little weird. In March, the devs somehow managed to give every single person in Roblox admin privileges. What? How? I mean, nothing happened because no one knew about it, but like, <laughs> 
April Fools came back around and the devs decided to put a bunch of rubber ducks everywhere. Not just small ones, but massive ones, oh, sorry, epic ones as well. The ducks couldn't stay there all the time, so they decided to give everyone a duck in the inventory. A couple months later in June, different gear sets were added. You can now use melee and ranged weapons, as well as explosives, power-ups, instruments, etc. A lot of social updates occurred in July. You can create groups, have statuses, feeds, and even best friends. Aww. Towards the end of the year, a few updates took place. Limited and unique items were now added. Items that were once sold by Roblox and will not be sold again counted as a limited item. With this, you can sell it later if the value of the item increases a lot, just like Fortnite skins or CSGO skins. Limited unique items are sold by Roblox until they run out, so they have a limited supply of them. When you do purchase them, they'll come with a stamp showing which number you bought. The same concept applies with the value increasing over time. Oh, and bubble chads added. Just like 2008, not a lot happened in 2010. A few months in, a brand new event occurs, the Zeke and Luther event. This was the very first sponsored event for Roblox, sponsored by, well, Zeke and Luther, which was a show on Disney XD. I don't know if any of you guys watched this, but this was one of my favorite childhood shows. It's researching this legit unlocked the memory. Because the show was themed around skating, a new custom game mode was made for it which was a skate park. People would join and test out the items given during the event, which is pretty much a bunch of skateboards and helmets. A month later in April, another event occurs. Extravaganza 2010, the same deal as last time. Being a huge easter egg hunt, this was actually so popular that the players even crashed the servers. They had to cancel the whole event just two days later, but they did relaunch it in July for players to actually play it. Robloxian 2.0 was released the same year, being uh, oh, damn. Jumping over to May 2011, a Roblox app was released to phone users, but you can't actually play on it, so it's more like a companion app. Roblox had decided to finally advertise the game and expand it to more people creating the first official advert or commercial. It did get a decent amount of hate. Yeah, people were saying how it's misleading. August 1st was when the first ever Roblox convention takes place, the Roblox rally. The whole convention was pretty much to talk about the game and what's to come. A bunch of things were added throughout the rest of the year. Mega places which were servers that could hold up to 50 players, the very first Roblox toy, personal servers that you could free build on, and game gift cards being released in Canada and the UK. Oh, jolly good. The year has been going great, so far. In the final month of 2011, a very popular game called Sword Fight on the Heights 4 or 6, IV, I think that's 4, becomes Builders Club only, which is what I said before, Roblox Premium. This one thing caused a huge outrage within the Roblox community. The forums were filled with players telling Roblox to undo the update. A YouTuber by the name of Zhao Zhao Man created a whole YouTube video about this occurrence. 2012, after bombs, hats, bodies, faces, eggs, more eggs, and even more eggs, we finally have water. <laughs> I'm gonna drink a bottle of water. <laughs> no. Now back to April 1st, 2012. A new April Fool's event in Roblox. Or not. Wait, I never heard of this, but Roblox was actually hacked by a user called Eleni. <laughs> <laughs> they gave Robux out, gave people moderator, and took some people's accounts away. <laughs> Bloody hell. Wait, wait, wait. Two months, only two months after this happened, another incident happened. Users friended with the Roblox account, an auto-ran staff account, were given 1 million Robux. How does that even happen? They reverted everything back in only a few hours, but damn, it's not looking like a good year for Roblox. Scratch that, it's actually a good year for Roblox. Times names Roblox one of the best 50 sites of 2012. GG well played. October 19th and an actual Roblox app for iPad is announced. All those without a PC can soon play it, meaning all of the kids. November 14th marks the day that Roblox had first hit for the first time ever, 100,000 concurrent players worldwide. 2013, Roblox undergoes a lot of changes and shows us what the future of the game could look like. Changing the shading and textures in game, they also held a Roblox Studio splash screen contest. February 11th, 2013. Eric Castle, one of the founders of Roblox, sadly passes away at the age of 45 after fighting cancer for three years. Rest in peace, Eric. He will not be forgotten. Let's take a moment of silence for him.
May 9th and the dynamic lighting that they had been working on for a while now is finally released to the public, immersing you further into the game. Skipping over to October, the developers exchange was released, meaning popular developers could exchange the Robux earned in-game for actual money. In fact, in May 2014, a user by the name of Gamer101 okay, became the first developer to cash out $10,000. Throughout 2013 to 2014, the Roblox devs and admins have been live streaming to their audience to talk about the game, the future of the game and what's to come. All is good until October 25th, 2014 where the admins don't close the stream properly and end up leaving the mics on. According to what I'm reading, they were making extreme obscenities and disrespectful remarks about Roblox. Damn, I really be your own people, man. Oh, <laughs> they got fired a few days later. That was definitely one of the worst mistakes of their lives. They could have been millionaires. February 2015, friends are now followers and best friends are now friends. Kinda makes more sense this way. Everyone on your friends list prior to this would now become your follower. Remember the developers exchange program like a few a few seconds ago? Yeah, well a user by the name of Taymaster is the first developer to earn 50 grand in one month. That's some people's yearly salary and he just got it off a game he doesn't even own. Throughout this next year, Roblox has a lot of sponsored events. There's the Big Hero 6 event, Teen Titans Go event, even the Wee Bear Bears event, another childhood classic, and Hotel Transylvania 2. At this point, Roblox is obviously a big, big deal, and the game is not what it used to be anymore. It's more mainstream now. Hey, look at the glow up. Shit! 2016. There are a lot more events, Kung Fu Panda 3 event and Zootopia. Roblox also celebrate their 10th year anniversary in April. That same month, Roblox is released on Oculus Rift, which I'm sure we know is a VR headset company. Now you can truly feel like you're talking to your Roblox GF. In 2017, Roblox changed their logo again. To be fair, the new one does look more clean, but I don't know if it suits a kid's game. Uh, what do they care? They're making billions more than I do. At this point, Roblox is so big that they do events for pretty much every big movie that comes out. They had Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Thor Ragnarok events in just one year. The game is huge and surely nothing can stop it now. Well, I guess something can... That's the UAE or the United Arab Emirates. They deemed the game is inappropriate and damaging to children's health in 2018. Maybe they had the right call on that. Some children tend to get a little crazy and I'm not talking about personal experience. 100% help me. A few weeks later, a petition was made for them to unban the game, trying to encourage them. In March 2019, a user called Azu5573 creates the one billionth Roblox account. He does get password guessed and his account is banned because he's a bit of an idiot but think about it, that was the 1 billionth player on Roblox. We have like 7 billion people in the world and 1 seventh of them have played Roblox. Holy sh! Skipping 2019 and jumping over to 2020, probably one of the worst years of our lives but some of the best for Roblox. With everyone indoors, more people than ever were playing Roblox, breaking a bunch of in-game records, a game called Adopt Me reaches 1,615,000 concurrent players in April, which nearly broke the website. Another game called Piggy reached 1 billion visits in only 3 months. Not only that, but a few weeks later, it hit 2 billion. At this point, Roblox is so big that there's so much going on at once. I mean, the 2 billionth account was created in November 2020. That's 2 sevenths of the world. Now we're in 2021. The owner, David Basuki, is declared a Mil Why did I write millionaire? Billionaire. He's declared a billionaire. He surpassed millionaire ages ago. UAE unbans Roblox. All good news so far. Wait, never mind. Roblox gets sued twice this year. Once about items in the store and another about users using copyright music. Damn. Whoever wins that lawsuit is getting a fat bag. Let me know down in the comments what you think will come to the future of Roblox. I mean, at this point, anything could happen. While you're at it, you may as well leave a like and share this video with a friend. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in another evolution video.